Hey guys, I'm going to give you a quick little tutorial of Wiki Spaces. I won't be uh, reinventing wheel. I know you've watched a lot of videos on Wiki Spaces already, but I'm going to touch on some tricky parts. So once we um, sign in, we're going to hit New Wiki. So we name our Wiki. One thing to note is you usually have to include some numbers because a lot of users um, use Wiki Spaces and no two sites can be have the same domain name. So um, I usually include numbers. Um, free means that you can, um, anyone can come in and edit, so usually we don't want that. We want it protected because we don't want someone coming into our website and just changing everything. Um, so you can also have it private, which means that you'll have to, the only way to reach it is through um, connections, which is free only for educators. So that might be an option for you if you don't want anyone going in and viewing your site at all, um, except for the people with links. So I suggest keeping it unprotected, so no one will be going in there and changing anything. So your wiki type should be K-12 education, um, but if you're using it for any other answer, you can change it. So I certify that I'm using this, and you hit create. Takes a couple seconds. Oop. Oh, name already in use. Well, I'll choose it for then. Great. Okay. So once we've created our wiki, um, you're going to have an introduction page that'll have a lot of different um, options. And um, so you can look through those if you want. For now, um, I'm going to show you how to make some changes. So let's say we want to change this little um, logo up here at the top. You go to Manage Wiki, look and feel. Then you can change a bunch of options in here. So you can change the themes and colors. It'll change this bar. Um, the Wiki style sheet, which kind of changes the organi basic organization of the page. And um, then you can change the logo, which is this little area. So you can um, upload a bunch of images from your uh, desktop computer. And the thing to note is that the size of the image is going to stay the same when you upload it into your computer. It doesn't shrink it. So um, if you're trying to upload a huge image into your wiki, it's going to be a huge image up here in the top corner. So usually you want it to keep it kind of small, uh, usually longer than taller. And um, if you need to go in and shrink it in Paint or another photo editing tool, I really suggest that to kind of keep it looking natural. <laughs> so um, if you want to add members, you know, you can send emails to your students and then you can change who's the organizer who can, you know, edit things. And if you go to a wiki home, let's say we want to um, edit our navigation. So we want to use multiple different pages in our wiki. Let's go to Edit Navigation. This is what pops up. It's kind of a widget who tries to um, make it simpler for you to use um, the navigation tools, but I prefer just to make my own navigation. So I suggest deleting it, and then it's really easy to make your own navigation bar. So um, every wiki has home as the base. So what you do is you type it in, and then you highlight it. Um, let's see, there's no existing page yet, so we add link. And then, um, so every time someone clicks on this, it's going to bring back to the main page. And then let's come up with another one. So we link. And so what we're actually doing is making new pages, which is really neat. Say we want a division in our section, so we're talking about like other things, and we have another section of um, different web pages for another topic. So to um, kind of separate those, you can put a division. And now if I come in here and, and I want it to go back to another page, so see how this is not a link yet. Come back. And now we have existing pages to choose from. Ooh, page design. So we hit save. And then we have navigation on the side of our page, and then that's our division line. Um, you can also come in here, and if, let's say, we want to add you know, picture files and that kind of thing, get added there, widgets. Um, you can add just about anything, but if you can't find a particular spot to stick your um, 
widget, I would just come here to the other HTML and then you just slip in your um, HTML code that you can get from any web tool and you just copy and you paste it here and then you hit save and then it'll show up on your page which is a lot easier. Sometimes I just bypass all of this and go straight there. So um, that will stick that in there and that is all you need to know. I okay, hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial today and um, I guess I'll see you later. Okay, bye.